Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am so it is I'm so happy that I can speak again to you and I will talk to you about how to deal with persecution. Do you know? This is my second episode of how to deal with persecution i started in my previous video but uh, i continue now w how to deal with persecution because the uh, persecution is something that we shall we need to we must expect we must expect it because uh, this is something that is it must to happen because it is we talk about jesus hmm? it was jesus who told us that we should actually expect these things to happen so when they come to us we shall not see it something that is strange or is because jesus himself experienced that jesus was preaching on the uh, on the street and he met angry people and sometimes the people w wanted to stone him several times jesus wanted to be stoned when he was telling the truth when he when the people get offended they took stones and want to throw to him or sometimes they insulted him they called him so many name bad names you know and he said that we also are going to expect all those things it doesn't matter it is not only because when we are preaching gospel it can happen that if people will want to offend us in different ways maybe you will be offended at work maybe you will be offended by people in your because if they know you are christian and Maybe you, you always say no to, to everything and they will just try to test you, to give you something or to put something in front of you so to see what you will, how your reaction will be. Or they will just try to speak bad about you. All the things can happen. And if you think that it is just a... It, Jesus he told us that we shall we should expect all the things because they are um, there are some Jesus haters were so many before and they are still today there are so many when you try to talk about Jesus people will see you as enemy you see the persecution it can happen both from the church and outside the church. Sometimes you will be hated by people in your own church. You can see that, ah, why is the, can I really be, be persecuted of the people of the church? Yeah, because those people are everywhere. Even some others, they can be, you know, because so you must have to know even if it happens that you'll be thrown out of the church because you speak the truth just be happy anyway because if the church would be a good church you could never throw someone out someone who speak the truth do you understand so because even the word of god is telling us what the word of god is telling us what the word of god is telling us they will put you out of the synagogues in fact a time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is offering service to god and there will be some people who will some people who will be they are just religious they are just people who are religious they think they love god and they think they are in the right they are worshiping the right god and uh, they will start to persecute you and uh, when they persecute you Christians when they persecute you because of your faith they think that they are offering service to God but actually they are not serving the right God 
we have seen so many people we hear a lot of cases that the christians are being killed do you understand and all those who are killing them they say they kill them in the name of the lord in the name of god they say god you understand but that is not a true god they are they are they are worshiping because uh, this is the scripture is telling us in that time will come when there will come time when even people who kills you will think that they are offering service to god do you understand so all the things we must also expect and uh, all those things as i told you rejoice anything that happened anything that happened that you experience and it is because of the lord rejoice because you know that now your price to god is getting even higher do you understand what i mean because the blessings will be even more your ministry is growing because god is is rewarding those people and how do you get rewarded because god is rewarding people with anointing and this anointing is something great it can he can reward you with so many things he, god is uh, can do anything and uh, the more your your ministry is anointed the more blessings in your life the more blessings do you understand what i mean so when time comes difficulties comes because you did the right thing because you did something good and people instead of seeing what the good they have done they only persecute you they only get angry with you they only speak evil about you they only insult you they only kick you out they only exclude you they don't want you because their their hearts are evil do you understand but what you know you should be happy it's not easy do you understand i know it is not easy but you can first yourself by saying that now my anointing is increasing because now god is looking me in different ways because now you know even in the bible says that if the cross even if when you boast our boasting has to be when you someone is about to boast themselves then you should boast yourself because of the cross you have carried do you understand if you carry a cross then this is something that you should be even boast yourself but boast yourself alone you understand don't be so much a person who love to boast. of course you can tell people when you boast about the cross you can tell the people what you have experienced when you tell people i have been through this and this and this and this this is what is showing how stronger you are in this ministry do you understand that i have seen someone he even made a film and he show all the way he has been up through all the way he has been when he has in the all those persecution he has been persecuted and he took the film and to show it was i think that film was fantastic because he was boasting himself in a very sweet way and then when you look at that person you say wow this is i just i feel like i should be like this person you understand so you can also talk about the things you have been through you boast about the crosses you have been carrying because this is what is making also other people um it is inspiring other people also so because we are here we are fighting we are fighting for the throne that we have been we have been uh we have been we have been promised and this promise 
you've been the promise of someone who is really really um perfect someone who is really loyal to what he says and he is very honest but we must have to make sure that we fight a good fight you know because it is a very good fight we must have to show the good fruits do you understand we must have to show the good fruits so that the person will see the good fruits in us in matthew chapter 12 verse 33 uh, jesus uh, it say make a tree good and its fruit will be good or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad for a tree is known by its fruit a tree is known by its fruit if you are good then so we have to only to concentrate on our fruits don't concentrate on other people's fruits don't concentrate on other people's bad because you will lose your own direction concentrate on your own fruits talk to god every day thank god every day even for the crosses that you have been you have been carrying so that um, those crosses those crosses will prove you right and those crosses will bring you stronger and higher do you understand that so what happened when you come so you meet you came you must to deal with really persecutors how are you going to deal with them why are you going to do what are you going to do to them do you understand if someone is throw beating you on this just give him another and act as a stupid of course it's it's bad it's not so very good but this is actually it is actually it is paying a lot do you understand you concentrate with your own fruits don't concentrate on their fruits so what how to deal with them is as i'm talking about this is should be between you and them you don't don't make it between you and them just deal with your own fruits make sure that now you have to really squeeze yourself from if that juice is coming out it shall come from the really good juice from you you understand what i'm talking about because that time that is what you really need to that is the really you need you know now it is a time for me to be lifted and i have to fight a good fight do you understand what i'm talking about don't fight back amen it's hard but this is not hard if you train yourself not fighting back you will uh, not only alone with prayers talk to god help for help it will help you ask god for help because at the time this is a really time that you need to focus on your so you don't slide when is that someone is offending you when the people are offending you when the people take your properties it is very hard it is very hard it is very easy to slide but if you don't slide you will you will be proven a better person do you understand then your value to god will increase something good about this is that when when your value increase then then you that's your 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 ministry is getting yeah, that is those people those persecutors are like your capital when you have a little capital you don't have capital you cannot do anything but if you have many capitals you have many persecutors then it means that you have big big capital that means that your business is growing your business with god i'm talking about it means that your value to god is increasing you um worth to god we are all worthy but when it comes to now we are is like we are in the competition who is 
better than the other. We are in competition. You can say all my two kids are good, but the one is make is doing better than the others everyone has know that even in the the children the students at school all students are worthy but when he, in the time when he, the teacher is trying to to do to to show reward or to give reward is choosing those who are doing better than the other but in in, in the long run all are the students. It's exactly the same to us Christians. So it means that when we show good fruits, when we make our trees, when we, we, we when we show good fruits, our our we show to God that we are good. Do you understand? Our value as His children, or to say, our worthy our price will increase and if our prices increase that means we become more rewarded and we be placed in front of more do you understand because god can trust us even more do you understand so it's all about that so make sure that you um, you understand this, you know, make sure that you understand this, make sure that this is, you don't get lost into, make sure that you understand this, that you don't get um, confused, you know. We are all about to produce good fruits. We are not, so you think, you think about the fruits and uh, all those things that happen to you you let you talk to god you pray to god you ask god to heal you do you understand you ask god to heal you if you are in pain because someone has rejected you because maybe someone has excluded you you should so that you you should have the same opportunity as the others but someone has put something in front of you so you cannot get through what you want to do because you are christian you understand because you're christian you ask god for healing and god can create new ways for you to pass through because you so that god can you ask god please god help me to get through new way of surviving this because i am in the greater pain god can heal you from inside can send the healing you understand and the healing will heal you from in your heart and so he will also make the way when the people of israel were living from egypt they came to the place there were lake there in front of them there is a lake behind of them there were the soldiers and they didn't did not know what they could do but just suddenly God created the way out of the lake and the, they found themselves going with their feet down the lake you understand and their enemies they also tried to follow and they the, the that the the water kills them do you understand so you can understand that god has million ways of rescuing his people and you cannot sit and rely on the opportunities that others have has re, has rejected you to get because it you are christian do you understand and uh, if we that's uh, that is how you can treat your enemies your enemies even if they are enemies but uh, you, th you use them as the weapon to get through to get your blessings because those people there is a lot of blessings in blessing them do you understand if you help the 
your enemies even your enemy is hungry give him food to eat and if he's thirsty give him water to drink because there is a lot of blessings into that because even god knows that um how painful situ this situation is but he know that you are trying to work hard to try to improve yourself to to to, to create um good to create what good fruits so he understand that and he see that obedience inside of you that instead of concentrating on on instead of concentrating on fighting with your enemies you just try, you bless them because he, you bless them by giving them food because he, this is and this is actually even the teaching of jesus is saying the same in matthew chapter 5 verse 45 you you have heard that it will say love your neighbor and hate your enemy in you know neighbor and enemy they are two different things neighbor is anyone it can be anyone it can be also a very total stranger the person that you don't know but enemy is someone that you have had conflict with them or someone who has persecuted you someone who has stolen from you someone has taken something from you because you are christian or whatever or in or he has just done something wrong to you but is it but i tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be sons of your father in heaven he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and he sends rain on the righteous and the ungracious name ungracious you know the character of our father you know we are all living in the same in the in, in the same we are living in the world and when it rains it does not rain only into in the houses of all the races and it it rains everywhere when it there is the sun it comes the sun is coming that god does not exclude us and he want jesus say you we you we have to acquire that character of loving even those people who hate us think about you yourself when you were a sinner but god has never excluded you you had everything you had food you had everything you you wanted and uh, you were uh, you had sun you had rain anything that is good on earth you also had right to use you had all the right god has never said that this is not you did not belong even if after when you have been uh, saved now you have to treat those other people who are un are doing wrong to you exactly the same because it is just the same thing do you understand so we have to love our enemies we have to to pray for them instead of instead of uh, punishing them instead of um, but there is one thing it's very important to remember to tell them so that they may repent so we must have to remember that our only character should be about winning souls you understand our own our own mission is to about like jesus mission to win souls so even if when they persecute you tell them where they are wrong tell them where they are wrong in the time even in the time when they need to repent they can remember that this is you have told them this is what you told them and this was their sin if you have the scripture you can just read to them even if they won't listen to you but one day they will maybe need that and they will know that we have to go back we have to repent because this is what we must have to have that character of god that is looking to win souls we also needed to win souls jesus came here to win souls he was also persecuted 
but he also he never he he never he never he never fought he he, he always so in Luke chapter 17 verse 3 watch yourself if your brother sins rebuke him and if he repents forgive him this is when it comes to even if that person is your is a Christian I believe also even even if that person is not a Christian you can also treat them the same way that you you tell them if it is Christian you rebook him you tell him what you are doing here is wrong and if they repent to you forgive them if they do not repent you take them further you can tell take some few people if that person we're talking about christians but i'm talking now about in general i'm talking about when i'm talking about general i say that you can tell you those people what they are doing is wrong to you do you understand and some people may realize that if they don't want to repent because they are so evil let them and pray for them if it is possible to pray for them there but if it is not possible pray them in private you remember and forgive them even if if, if they are persecutors if they don't know what the money of them don't know what they are doing even like jesus is said to father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing when jesus was 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 punished uh, at to and to at the cross you know he forgave all the people he told them father forgive them they don't know what they are doing so some other people they are doing this they don't even realize what they are doing is wrong actually oh they don't even realize that this is sin but at least if they know you they don't know for you know that one day they will maybe need that to have they will need to repent but make sure that you pray to them you pray for them and forgive them carry that character just go like a lamb all the time and these are the characters that will lift you up because this is what jesus wanted these kinds of characters in you and when you get to those characters so you want to be filled with holy spirit don't you so you you want to be filled with holy spirit and uh, this is what will make the holy spirit um love to come to you because uh, now you are you are when you are showing those uh, good characters these are the characters that um, the holy spirit love to see because every when after you accept jesus in your life and uh, you are in the time of seeking you do you are seeking when you are showing good characters to your god and that is this is sometimes it can be difficult but with your prayers you tell god where you you just deal with god and you don't deal with them don't deal with them because it, it just makes it none of your business do you understand if you follow me you can follow me tomorrow i will continue with my, my of the same stuff and i will tell you what do you what do you what will happen to those people i i'll continue with the the same the same topic about persecution but now i'm going to take to tell you about what do you what so i think this is enough for today pray the living god let me pray for you my heavenly father i bless you i praise you thank you so much for this opportunity i have been talking with these people please lord touch everyone who listen to this clip and make this person really humble and know and help them in their seeking lord so they will find you in the name of jesus 